Okay, so this is video six of our Maz in the basement install. Last time in video five, we spun up one node and we set his power options. And that's this guy down here. So he booted to Pixie. Uh, he got some very limited information, the MAC addresses for his Ethernet cards. We went in and we did, we edit the node and we added the ETH1 handshake uh, MAC address. We renamed it to something we know. Uh, we set it to wake on land power type. And make sure, again, that you're always using the MAC address of the card that did the handshake with the ETH1 MAS card. So we're all set on that. Now, I did the rest of the nodes. Uh, all of the hardware information will be available on the website, but I've got a cut. These are all Optiplexes, and then we've got a couple of HP 7900s out there as well. So the the first Pixie boot has been done, and uh, they have all the power has been set. Now the next step, we need to commission all these nodes. When you do a commission, uh, he Maz powers these nodes up via Wake on LAN, installs um, a little bit of software. Well, he doesn't actually install anything yet. Uh, he goes out and grabs the hardware information, the RAM with the number of cores, the disks that you have, uh, gives you a better idea of how he's going to use these. Uh, he doesn't actually install anything until you start the node, but OpenStack will be doing all of the deployment for us. So the next step will be to commission. I actually want to show you guys um, the fronts of the machines when the the commissioning starts so you can see them power up uh, that's kind of the cool part about the wake on land and mass so uh, I'm gonna switch to uh, the cam view and just show you guys how things are gonna go Okay, I've tried to do the best to set up so you can see the MAS node via the web and the server there on the left. That's node 1. That's the one we previously pixie booted to MAS. I just wanted you guys to be able to see what happens when you hit commission and you have pixie boot and wake on LAN and everything set up correctly. Uh, so let's go ahead and commission the node. I have a bad feeling that it's not going to go well because of network configurations that we need to make but we will work through them together so let's just hit commission like magic he powers on very cool okay so the first node commissioned successfully uh, much to my surprise it didn't complain about uh, any of the network configuration there were some bugs in uh, MAS uh, that sometimes they couldn't get out to the internet unless you configured a gateway. So far so good. Uh, it booted up, it was able to download its packages and uh, it's commissioned and now it's in ready. Uh, these little error boxes and unknown boxes, not sure what they really mean at this point because I've never had any problems with any of the nodes but they always show up in red. Uh, so anyway, we're going to ignore that for now. So this box is ready. You saw when we hit commission, it powered up. Well, when it powers up, it uh, installs a little. It grabs some packages, installs a little bit of stuff uh, to get it ready to be deployed. So we're just going to grab all of these. We'll leave one that last one off, uh, and we're going to commission them all at once. Uh, and this will again, like we saw, it will power all of these up at the same time. Hopefully, it doesn't blow a breaker and uh, it will commission them so we'll just let that get going so they're all commissioning right now okay just like magic all these are now in a ready state they've all been commissioned uh, and it tells you different prop RAM uh, hard drives it's only going to tell you uh, the largest hard drive the, the number one hard drive what size it is no matter if they have multiple disks uh, even if you go into them it really doesn't give you that much more information. It does give you the IP that it assigned it though when it pixie booted. 
So that's good to know. Now, I want to do some testing uh, with these nodes. So if you just want to commission a node as a regular Ubuntu release server, uh, just standard install, nothing special about it, you can just go ahead and acquire the node. You can acquire and start. And he will go through and run an installer on this guy. Notice he just assigned him a virtual IP so that you can connect to it. So he's going to start up, uh, provide us a server, so we can do some network testing just to see um, how things are going to go. So we'll let him spin up. It takes a while to uh, to get it deployed. It, it will go to deployed when when it has fully installed the server software. And then after we're done with our testing, we'll we'll put it back to a ready state and we'll let OpenStack use it during the install. But uh, I'll let that go. It takes five ten minutes at least, and uh, I'll be back. All right, the node has been deployed. Uh, now th this node one has uh, Ubuntu server installed on it, so uh, we're able to log in. the The main thing I want to test here is the the networking properties. Um, Mass can get a little confusing about what he does with these nodes and you know how we have them cabled. They're just cabled into a switch, but the routing gets a little confusing. So let's do some testing. Uh, since Maz, this is the Maz, just the Maz server we're uh, SSH'd into, but Maz does the DNS and the DHCP for these nodes, and it's very easy to get confused about what's going on. So let's just start out. Let's take a look at our interfaces. Let's get us back to uh, looking at this a little bit more. So again, we've got our internet ETH0 and we've got our private ETH1. Uh, let's take a look at how these, how we configured these in the earlier video. Okay, so our name server is the internet router. We we just put it in here as the internet router as well as the gateway. Uh, now for this no for the MAS node to be able to look up another node, uh, do a NS lookup by its name, we would have to have the MAS server in our name server list. So right now, if I were to do an NS lookup on node one seven eighty uh, dot mass. See, this is an arbitrary value. He knows nothing about it. He tried to go find it on the internet and just stuck that in there. He he doesn't know anything about it. Uh, NS lookup on Google. See, he can go find that because. We're doing NAT routing out to the out to a DNS server somewhere on the internet. So he he knows about that. Uh, he doesn't know about our nodes on a private network. Uh, also, if we do a just a NS lookup on the IP of that node that we just deployed. He can't find it. There's, there's no. We can't talk to the D, this, the this server. This mass server is a DNS server, and we don't know to search it uh, for these DNS entries. So we, we need to edit our interface file and add that server in there. So let's just add him in the name servers list. Now he'll go try to search him when he does a lookup. You do have to either restart networking or reboot. As you guys know, I'm more of a reboot person. There he is. Let's log back in. Get our screens going.
Okay, now let's try to do an NS lookup on that deployed node. And there he is. Now he can go search this server, this DNS server, and find his name. Let's try it the other way, just so you can see what it looks like. That's how he does it in reverse, no problem. And let's make sure that we can still talk to Google. And he can. So, that's good. That's one problem solved. There's another item that I wanted to show you guys. Uh, I don't know that this actually matters much. By the way, anytime you want to see all the commands that you've ever done, just do a history. In screen, you can't really scroll back all that well, so uh, you can pipe it to more. You can kind of step through it. So, we're going to run this command. It's Q to quit your, your more, by the way. Anyway, for the, so I'll, again, this will be on the website. But we're going to reconfigure um, the Maz cluster controller from when it installed. So just hit that, and it's going to bring up a GUI. And I. Okay, it's going to bring up the GUI. It has the internet facing IP in here. So that it so this is just what it says. So the nodes uh can connect via the API. Just to keep things simple. Again, I don't think it really matters which card you have in here, but I'm going to put our private network card on here just so I know things are a little a little more consistent. So just an option, you might not need to do it, but I'm going to do it. And this error too, uh, it's telling us there's a there's no host name in there. We could fix that. It's not hurting anything. So you really don't need to, it doesn't help your configuration at all. Uh, now let's go SSH into that node that we deployed. Uh, since we have the key set up, we don't have to have a login. We can just SSH from here. Uh, by the way, all the deployed nodes use the Ubuntu uh, username, so use that on these. Ubuntu, Ubuntu at whatever IP address. And yes, we'll accept that key. He's been added. Sorry, I had to stop the video there for a second. Okay, but the key was added and it let us log in. We're on uh, that 151 node that we deployed, node one. Uh, and let's look around a little bit, but also let's see what he can look up. Can he look himself up? Yes, he can. Does he know? who Maz is. He does not. Does he know who Google is? Uh, kinda. Hmm, that's interesting. Does he know who MSN is? Interesting. Uh, can he ping Google? Yes, he can. Um. Hmm, that's really all we need, I guess. So he can, uh, let's make sure he can install a package out here on one of these nodes. Um. Let's see, what do we want? Let's just do app get. I don't need to do get anymore.
see if inload works. He installed okay. Inload is working great. So that's pretty much it. Um, if he can ping Google and he can install packages, that means he can get out to the internet and he should work just fine. Uh, so let's get out of this guy. And on the next video, uh, we will be heading closer to the OpenStack install. We'll be doing the, the install, the Juju install. Uh, I'll save uh, decommissioning uh, this SSH machine for the next video, but we'll, we'll jump right into that here shortly. I'll see you then.